I'm so tap tap, and Abyssrium just released 30 new fusion fish. It's kind of nice to have an update that you can actually, like, play and Shut up, mystery chest! Um, it's kind of nice to have something you can actually play and enjoy. Um, so there's 30 new fusion fish. None of them are hidden, which I really miss when there was, like, lots of updates with lots of new hidden fish. For me, the, the most fun in this game was always figuring out the hidden fish and, you know, rushing online to share with friends and see what, you know, other people had found. Uh, that was easily the most, the, you know, the most magical thing in the game, and it's really a shame that they just don't really seem to do that anymore. So, I guess I'll just make one of each of these. I should have enough stuff, I think. And, uh, I did want to say... A little plain one there. I guess he got a little stripe. Um... <laughs> I know some people probably think that I enjoy ragging on this game, and I really, I really don't. I, um... I really wish this game was as good as it used to be. I, uh, it was some of the most fun I ever had, just being able to make the guide, you know, fun updates, a whole bunch of other people excited with me, and, you know, watching every video, checking out the new stuff, and, you know, sharing their experience. That was really great, but it's not really like that anymore, and, uh, that really sucks. The, the price keeps going up, um, the ability to get new currency keeps going down, uh, it, the event designs generally are still like silly and I don't really like a lot of them anyway. For, kind of fortunately considering I've I bought a single fish this event. You can see it fluttering around somewhere. I bought a single Alice fish. I the the, the hermit crab is such a pain in the butt. I, I I can't be arsed anymore. There's a 2 hour wait time on it and you got to you still got to tap so much to do it. I like the pointy boy though. I like the pointy boy. I, I really wish, hopefully they'll, you know, realize things are too extreme and too gross now and try to dial it back, but I don't know. I was really excited for the, the this Nintendo Switch version, which by all appearances seems to be in an indefinite hiatus or canceled. We haven't heard about it for over a year. Um, I was super excited for that because, like, you can't do ads. As far as I'm aware, they're not allowed to do, like, a free-to-play ad supported thing on Nintendo Switch, so I assumed it was going to be like a premium game, you'd pay like 20 bucks and you'd get all of the content in one go, and you know, there wouldn't be any ridiculousness, there wouldn't be any ads to watch skills, and uh, it'd just be, you know, pure fun and you'd be allowed to have fun. It's got a big old mouth sucker on there. Look at that snoot. That is a snoot. Why can't I move my- oh, there we go. It's being weird. That is a snoot right there. Um, I'm a big fan of the model of games where you buy the game and then you just have the game and the game lets you have fun. That's that's the best way for video games to be. That's why most games have mobile stuff. It's neat to be able to try stuff for free in theory, but uh, with relatively few exceptions. Like, uh, I thought Pokemon Quest was alright. Maybe a little bit high priced, but uh, all in all, I, I thought Pokemon Quest was a good way to do things. Uh, that's a scarred boy right there. Been in a freaking knife fight on the stone bridge. You doing okay, buddy? How's your spleen? Man, he's fine. He's a dolphin. He doesn't care. And I will say, um, it's kind of silly to me that... I know this update was a little bit delayed. There was The fusion fish were supposed to come with the main update, but... They released 30 fusion fish at once, and it's like... Last year, that would have been three months worth of updates. I mean, I'm not gonna say no to more fish. What is it with his eye? His eye is lines. You okay there, buddy? He's got lines on his eyes. Um, I don't know, it's just kind of funny to me. It's so clear to me that it's all management and marketing and stuff that ruins this game because they can definitely like look at that boy. They they can still make good stuff. They're just not. <laughs> they're just intentionally not doing it because you can see with the. Um, with the fusion fish updates, you know, there's nothing particularly gross about them. I do wish there was hidden stuff so we could, you know, try and find things and do silly things. I do definitely miss the hidden fish. And even- <laughs> the events got so bad, but they, the, the hidden stuff is all boring and plain now. It's such a shame. I like- this is a good boy, though. That is a fine boy. Get that- get that th thumpy stick out of the view. Do not thump my fine boy. You gotta love sea slugs, they're so good. Go in the cave. Go in the cave. Oh, it's going into the abyss. 
I, w I would love nothing more than to enjoy this game. I, I do not, I, I don't crap on this game to, to, you know, get views. If anything, I probably get less views because I don't like it unconditionally and, you know, sliver over it. Um, that is a fine boy as well. Let's get more sea slugs. And I, I honestly miss I, the... <laughs> every time they do something that I think is really cool, they stop doing it. So I thought the, um, I thought the different tank was actually really cool. The only thing I didn't like about it was that I wanted a tank where I could make them intermingle and stuff and put everything in one tank. And I think what would have been really cool is to, uh, just to stop making fusion fish for a moment, have like, keep make the abyss tank, like the intermingle tank, or add a new one where just fish from everything can go into at once. And at this point, that seems to be the abyss tank. And then they could make like, I don't know, um, like an arctic tank or like an ancient tank like uh, we've been wanting for years um uh, like a dinosaur event like you know ancient fish and stuff um have one of those and you know there would be a bunch of new hidden fish and uh, there would be some new gameplay changes a little bit and it would be really cool and actually the freshwater they fixed freshwater <laughs> Year, not years, but uh, many, many months after probably everyone stopped playing it, at least everyone that got the update right when it launched, um, they fixed Freshwater and the lag is gone from Freshwater, the vitality caps are gone, and aside from having to watch a bunch of ads to get the albino crocodile thing, everything is fine in Freshwater now, but it has just happened so late. Like, I had genuinely thought they were completely forgotten about it and were never going to touch the different tanks ever again. And then suddenly they fixed it. <laughs> Encouraging lonely Corlite being delightful. Okay. But yeah, I thought the new tanks was a pretty cool idea. There was just some minor, you know, stuff they need to work out with it. I do think this interface has gotten horribly cluttered at this point. There's so much going on. Um... And the separate tanks kind of help deal with that. Like, if there was a separate tank for the fusion fish instead of, like, this weird menu, you know, I think... I think that... Maybe not that specifically, but just the separate tanks to keep things neat, um... Kind of reduces the croofed in the main interface. Flamboyant cuttlefish. Look at how fabulous he is. He's got those points. He's got a brownish area with points. Oops, clicked on the cave. I still don't know why you can focus on the cave. I don't think that's ever even been an unlock. Oh, pajama squid. Bananas and pajamas. So yeah, if, if the Switch version comes out and there's not some reason that it's like, horrible, <laughs> um, I, I think I'll actually really enjoy that. And I'll uh, hopefully... Moo! Hopefully everybody can have some fun again, but I don't I don't know what happened with that because we heard we heard it announced and then there was literally never any news ever again after it. Now it's that's been well over a year now. I hopefully I'm wrong, hopefully things are going fine and it's just, you know, they're bad at communicating, which they are. They didn't ever hire a Facebook person, did they? They they fire or their their Facebook person quit like late last year and they just never replaced them and that was like the only way to get support. A Napoleon fish, these are beautifully ugly monsters. Well, they're a lot uglier in real life and um, Animal Crossing. They're realistically ugly in Animal Crossing. This one isn't too bad. He's got a big ol' he's got a big ol' snoot going on, but <laughs> the real deal is a bit more terrifying. I didn't know they were wrasse. I thought they were just Napoleon fish, but most fish have multiple names depending on where you're from and such forth. Oh, this boy- somebody's been shanking my whales! What's going on? Please do not shank my whale. Where's Ahab? Has Ahab been pointing? This guy is- come on, man. That's, that's more of a dolphin. You shouldn't be- that's not your white whale, it's gray and small. This one, maybe. It's a very whale-like dolphin. It's got the elongated snoot. Oh, he's got a pointy snoot. He's got a, he's got a proboscis going on. He's like the, he's like one of those garls. I didn't know there's a pointy snoot. There's a lot of snoots going on. I, I approve of that in this update. Just give me snoots, give me snoots, and let me actually make the fish. Those are my two requests to make the game good again. 
Lots of give me the snoot update. Let's let's see if there's a snoot here. Not really. Not really. But that's all right. Stripey. I'm not sure I dig the striped fish. Like a lot of the newer models are more detailed and stuff, but I, I kind of still really like the original aesthetic with the flat colors and the you know. Simple designs and the square eyes. It really, it really worked well, and I think it's why a lot of people really like the game. The stripies, I just think, don't quite make sense in some of these fisherinos. This one looks alright. I don't know, the, the tiny thin lines. The little dotulets, I think, look a little weird. He's got, like, glasses on. I'm not sure what that's all about. I don't know. <laughs> I wish these fish wouldn't... There's so, there's so much crap in the tank, and fish tend to float down in the crap zone, and so you can't really see them. Um, I should just take off this costume. Yeah, I understand why the game doesn't have collision physics, because that, that would be... <laughs> the game has enough trouble running, right? It would, it would slow to a crawl if they had to do a hundred different collision checks every frame. Bull neck. That is a neck. That is... I don't know if this guy would be allowed to compete in the Olympics. I think there's some steroids going on there. I like his little hook, though. Dainty little hook. It's definitely a bull neck, though. Man, there's a lot. Alright, we're almost to the bottom. Bump head, parrot. <laughs> That's a great bump head. Imagine being like a beautiful, majestic fish, and some human finds you and they're like, wow, look at this bump head loser. Look, oh, he's got a, like a thing on his snoot. See, again, with the snoots. I figured he'd be bigger, but he's got a bump head. <laughs> Poor guy. He's got a he's got a master's degree in in, in in political science, and people just remember him for the bump on his head. What a shame! What a shame! I oh, had hey, blue ring octopus. That's very classic. Giant Pacific seahorse. How giant though? Big bigger than more like bigger than average Pacific seahorse. He's got a very swingy body though, and I I appreciate that. He's obviously got the snoot. There's no seahorses without the snoot. This, we, should need, we need some pipe fish, by the way. Where's the pipe fish? I love pipe fish because they're just basically, in Pokemon terms, they're the unevolved form of seahorse. It goes pipe fish, seahorse, and then sea dragon. That's how Pokemon works. And I'm actually kind of shocked that there isn't a Pokemon evolution line that's like that. Even the one called, you know, Seedra is, is, is a sea horse, not a sea dragon. I guess there is a seahorse that goes into a sea dragon now. There's Skrelp and uh, Dragalge, but there's no baby pipefish form. Alright, we're almost done with the new boys. And new girls. You gotta love the octopodes. I was so excited when there's a new... <clears throat> well... <laughs> the, 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 the blue boxed octopus. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Because I was just saying earlier, I, I like I like the older aesthetic better, and this kind of fits, I guess. It, rings would be a little bit jarring, wouldn't they? Woo! Hi, Parker, yes. Do you have strong opinions on this topic, Parker? I see. I see. Since people ask a lot, yes, I have videos of Parker. You can see Parker. Um, just Google or search, you know, or tap tap Parker. I've got a whole... Or just go to my channel page, actually. Um, there's a featured playlist there with lots of Parker videos. He's a very chatty boy. He's very orange and fluff. Yes! He's got a white snoot. He's been... He's got those ashy lips. Need some, uh... Need some lip balm on those. I miss just being able to look at the new fish and just enjoy them. This has been nice. This is nice. I wish events were a bit more like this instead of like, hey, I'm gonna need you to watch ads 500 times. Bye. In fact, this is so dumb. You know what's stupid about the event thing? Um, there used to be two ways to get candy. Um, you would either watch ads or you make the crab dance, right? Um, well, actually, the, you didn't... They used to be watch an ad or cast a, um, or, you know, cast your skills, but, um, you know, it used to be watch an ad or you can use the crab, but you limited on the crab. Now, the crab is 
the crab is also just watch ads. This is why is there two options now? There's two different ways to get ads, and it's like, why why isn't it just why isn't it just like one ad option? The crab is pretty much redundant at this point. It's. Slender sunfish. More of a squat sunfish. It's still as it's still as like wide. It's just like not as tall. You gotta love sunfish though. I didn't know this type of sunfish existed. It, it, I don't know if he looks I guess he looks a little bit more like a regular fish. Sunfish seem like fake. They seem like an alien heard about fish from a human in a language they didn't quite understand but pretended they understand. So it didn't get awkward, and then they like made an animal, and then that's how we got sunfish. Conspiracy theory: aliens made sunfish. Tommy Wiseau invented a <laughs> sunfish, directed by Tommy Wiseau. Anyway, that's all the new um, fisherinos. Um, none of them are hidden, so that's why I didn't explain their unlock conditions. You just need to own two of whatever makes them. Um, I'll toss these boys in the guide, but. Um, So, oh, and there's also a new in-app purchase thing in the event thing, I think. There's a chipmunk or something. Um, let's look at that. How do I... Man, there's, so, <laughs> there's so many menus anymore. This used to be so much simpler. A squirrel package. This, this is clearly a chipmunk, but okay. <laughs> I was never a big fan of the scuba animals anyway. Oh, that reminds me, there's, um, oh, hey, um, bef before we leave here, man, I need to do a new fan art video. Um, I'll be, I'll get to that soon. I got a bunch of backed up fan art that I need to post. Um, but if you make any fan art, do let me know. Send me an email, um, or at me on Discord. Usually email is best. Um, there's contact us through tap But, uh, S in our Discord server, um, oops, no, no, no. Um, made these, um, Parker in-app purchase drawings. This was the original, the, the simpler one. I kind of like the simple one. It, it meshes with the original style very well. But the one on the left is the more detailed one. Um, but if you make any fan art, let me know. And, um, as long as it looks like, you know, <laughs> you made any attempt. Not like, just like a scribble, but anything above a, a squiggle. Uh, I usually put up on sirtapdap.com, and I'll have a link in the description to the, uh, to the art here, so... If you make anything, let me know, and, uh, I'll probably do an art video. I'll try to do that pretty soon, because it's been a while since we... I'll need to catch up on a lot of art. But yeah, that is the new Abyssrium update. Um, no slow rollout on this one, so it should already be out there. Uh, it's nice when you can just update and enjoy it. This, the slow rollouts are one of the most baffling, pointless things. I don't no. I've I've basically heard nobody defend that. People will defend a lot of things for this game, but not that. What the? Oh right, I forgot he goes to sleep immediately. Yeah. That's such a blurg. <laughs> anyway, have fun, everybody. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game.